present to you some beginner's training methods for your new best friend or for an old friend who has the need to learn some new tricks. Consistency, dedication, and persistence is very important in training your dog. And if you take the time to understand the way your dog thinks, everything will be easier, including training and day-to-day -day living. In this video, I'm going to teach you one basic command and the importance of the walk. Giving dogs firm boundaries and consistently reinforcing those boundaries from the beginning will make for a happier and more balanced dog. They will accept you as the leader and feel comfortable with you being in charge. Sit is the most useful command and can be used throughout the day to maintain control. The first thing you want to do is call your dog's name and have a treat in your hand. Subi, come here! Move the hand with the treat over his head while doing a hand signal with your other hand. This movement will make the dog naturally sit. Once he is in a seated position, say sit and immediately give him the treat. It is important that you keep your voice calm and firm when giving a command, and once the action is carried out, that the praise be immediate, energetic, and sincere. Good boy, buddy. Oh, so good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Along with teaching commands, the walk is one of the best ways to cement a good relationship between you and your canine companion on a daily basis. To start the walk, put the leash on your dog. Before you open the door, make sure your dog sits and make sure he is in a submissive stance with ears back and eyes alert to your command. Open the door and make sure that you walk out first. Then give a command to your dog. Let's go! During the walk, maintain control in a calm but firm way at all times. Keep the dog walking beside you and not pulling in front. Remember, you have to constantly behave as the pack leader and have an attitude of confidence on the walk. When you have completed the walk and are back at your door, make sure that you enter the house first and that the dog enters second. This, once again, establishes your leadership. Always remember that creating boundaries creates a happy and healthy relationship between you and your dog. And once you're done giving exercise and discipline, remember to follow with plenty of affection and love.